Morning guys. Good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to another vlog from the water. Today uh, we're going to fish for a sea trout on uh, on the coast because that is basically uh, the season for that right now. We've heard a lot of uh, exciting things about the fishing lately uh, and also the last couple of weeks when we went out fishing we, we had some pretty good fishing so we're thrilled, we're excited, we have a full day of fishing and filming um, and, and today it's... Uh, I don't know how you say that in English, but it's it's when the when when the when the tide is as big as it gets because of due to a full moon. So and and my experience is that that is really really good for the sea trout. But Stephen's experiences are kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> so we, I believe we, it's called spring flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spring tide, perhaps. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's when the when the moon is at its biggest, and when you full moon, you have the biggest difference between high and low tide, and I've never really find any fish in this condition, but I don't think it's some of the greatest thing that can happen in coastal fishing. So it would be really interesting to hear what you guys prefer and why. So yeah, and and also it's going to be interesting to see who of us is correct today. Yeah, <laughs> and you can see that That's by true. following the video. Exactly. We're looking forward. We're excited. We'll see you. Here goes some salmon fit sea trout fishing. <laughs> I filled up uh, half of the new CF design box here. So now I have to pick which which two sides I will bring to the water. I think it's going to be the uh, the pitchfork or the the, uh, the 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 shrimp up here with the orange legs. You can see I believe quite strongly in that. And then I'm going to pick the 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 uh, the pink box with the boobies as well. I'm think I'm going to give the boobies a try today. Water conditions looks okay. It's a bit murky water, but we'll see what today will bring. You ready, Stephen? Ready. So the, 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 the A plan or the plan A was to fish uh, on the outer coast to fish for the really big springers. But uh, we, we, we drove out there and, uh, and we checked out three or four different spots, I think, and all of them were very, very, uh, had very, very murky water, too murky to fish. Um, which uh, is due to the fact that there's been quite a lot of wind these past couple of days. So, um, and, and the wind is actually uh, from, from a not very favorable direction. So we had to, we had to think fast and then drive uh, almost directly back to where we came from about an hour or so. Now we found, found some water that is fishable, but yeah, this is, this is not, this is not ideal. We got a lot of the video that we needed, but um, I think the, the potential for fish looks a bit shaky at the moment. But we're gonna we're gonna soldier on and uh, and see if we can uh, we can strike silver. Yes. I've been fishing all day with my uh, with my Sage Spade G5 rod, um, and it's it's a wonderful rod for both streamer fishing in rivers, but also for um, for this coastal fishing. Actually, I've sold two of these to two uh, two different German German people. Uh, German persons, I don't know how to say that, but people from, from Germany who fish the coastline with this and also fish small streamers and stuff. And it's just a really, really a thrill to cast. Sage has just announced some quite steep increases on their price. Um, I, haven't, I haven't implemented the price increase on, on Sage. And, uh, and for this rod in particular, uh, I'm not gonna do that as long as I have rods I bought at the old price. I'm gonna keep the, uh, the, uh, the old price in the shop. But um, the increase for this rod in particular is very, very steep. It's almost 40%, 14, not 14, but 40%. So if you're in the market for one of these um, and they are a true joy to cast and fish, um, I would urge you to get one now because uh, next time I'm gonna I'm gonna get some of these. Uh, um, I'll have to get them at the new price, and then the price will increase quite dr quite dramatically. So, if you want to do this, then get one now. Another great thing about these two-handed rods on the coast here is um, if you're fishing stretches of water like this, where you don't have a lot of back cast, then just walking here in water up to your knees. Uh, and just underhand casting is it's just perfect. It's a truly truly thrill. So 
I'm not catching any fish today it looks like but I'm getting a lot of casting done and it's it's as always just awesome to be out here you know the scenic the scenery here is is magnificent well it had to come to an end the water here it really looked nice and uh, and uh, and and I I, I, st I strongly believed in the fishing but we didn't manage to uh, to find anyone today no, we didn't manage to find the right conditions yeah yeah we, we did a lot of uh, we did a lot of driving today to to find uh, to find uh, the right spot but uh, but no such luck I mean the water here looked fine but for some reason there was no fish here so I guess you were correct Stefan unfortunately yes yeah you were correct <laughs> the spring tide was was not ideal or maybe it was some other conditions I'm sure it was some of the other conditions but we look really fine in these matching suits I think <laughs> it's not by design it's just a coincidence um, but um, as always thank you so much for watching and um, we wish you the best of luck out on the water and uh, swing by Nordic Anglers if ever you're in need of anything fly fishing related see you in the next one thank you <laughs>